travelingmail.com. Yellowstone has been my backyard for about 20 years, and it's pretty much the best backyard you could ever find. So there's a lot to do, and it's a really big park, but we're going to show you some of the highlights for a family-friendly visit to Yellowstone. And we can't cover it all, and you shouldn't try this all in one day, but these are some of the spots you're not going to want to miss. Norris Geyser Basin is my favorite geyser basin in the park and that's for a couple reasons. For one, there's a little more walking here than some of the other boardwalk areas. Um, you can get out and move around. Lots of hot springs and geysers to see and it's pretty diverse and also you usually get less, uh, fewer crowds here, fewer people and not maybe today it's kind of busy but it's just, it's a great place to be. So we try to stop here whenever we're in this section of the park and just bask in the sweet smell of sulfur. So we usually try to bring our lunches when we come to Yellowstone because you can wait a long time at the grills and uh, restaurants and it's kind of expensive but they do do a good job of trying to get local food and everything. Um, but they're also, because the picnic areas throughout the park are really pretty and it's a great opportunity to get outside of your car one more time. The Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone is one of my favorite places in the park. There are a lot of uh, little spur trails to get a good view of the canyon and of the upper and lower falls. And they're all worth seeing, but there are too many to see all of them probably. So we usually pick one or two, depending on how we're feeling. Um, here on the North Rim, which is the side we are on right now, um, great views of the geothermally altered canyon. It's orange, it's soft, it's sort of yellow looking, but it is not, as I overheard someone telling their child why this park was called Yellowstone just happens to be that color. So we're gonna walk around a little bit up here and then check out the South Rim for Artist Point. Artist Point is a great place to take a family picture. And a great hike over there is Uncle Tom's Trail, which takes you down 300 steps, stairs, to um, an incredible waterfall view. All of the major developed areas in the park have visitor centers and each one is different, has a different theme, so you can stop at as many as you can fit in to learn about different aspects of the park. I think this one here at Canyon is a geology themed visitor center. It's also a great place for kids to get hands-on interactive exhibits, especially the ones at Old Faithful and um, a couple of the other ones. And you can pick up their Junior Ranger packets here, and when they're done with them, they can turn them in and become Junior Rangers at any of the visitor centers. Yellowstone Lake is one of my favorite places in Yellowstone, and this is the largest alpine lake in the United States, if not larger area. And by alpine, we just mean above 7,000 feet. There's a lot of great ways to explore the lake. It's super, super cold, so swimming's probably not one of them, but you can take a boat out. One of my favorite hikes, and I always take people from out of town on, is Storm Point, and it goes out to the lake in a little beach. It's really pretty. We are hanging out right now, having some second lunch on the beach behind the Fishing Bridge Visitor Center, which is just a great big sandy beach that the kids love. And of course there's the Lake Hotel which is on the lake. You can stop by and have a cocktail or a cup of tea or spend the night. So come see the lake! West Thumb Geyser Basin is one of my favorite basins in the park and it's right on the edge of Yellowstone Lake which is really beautiful. 
This is a great place to come with kids because it's easy boardwalk around and you see some really cool things here, like the fishing cone geyser where they say, I don't know if this is true or not, but that you that in uh, olden times that people would cast a line into the lake, catch a fish, and then cook it on the line in the fishing cone geyser. Old Faithful Geyser Basin is probably not my favorite place in the park, but it is pretty cool and it's iconic. And if you haven't been here before, you should come see it. And the geyser itself is cool. It's just really crowded most of the time. There's bleachers and everything. But we're here, we're gonna check it out. And we're going to appreciate it for the role it played in making this a national park. A bear skiing on a lamp, that's adorable. My favorite time to visit Yellowstone is in the winter when we can cross country ski and play in the snow. We have come a couple times down here to the snow lodge, which is where we are right now. And it's an amazing, magical experience. We've also skied up at Canyon with the uh, Yellowstone Expeditions Yurt Camp and then at Mammoth Hot Springs because we can just drive there from our house. So that's the time to come. One of our favorite things to do is take a soak in the Boiling River. It's about a half a mile walk down a flat path to where the hot spring comes out of the ground and mixes with the cold Gardner River. If you find the right place, the temperature is perfect. <laughs> 